Doug Garrett from Board Game Geek coming to you from SN 2012. We're here with Czech Games Edition's uh, Yuri Sulik and we're talking about Goblins Inc. Hello yes, Yuri, so tell us all about it here. This is a game by Philip Neduk. Mm -hmm. uh, he's actually from Croatia. And there's this uh, Goblin Factory which is building uh, Doomsday's huge robots Very to take control of the world. Yes. And the players are the builders of these robots, but the thing is that the boss of this factory is going to retire, and they are fighting for who will be the next boss. <laughs> and the best uh, thing how to figure this out is by uh, fighting among each self. To building the robots. Yes, building the robots and letting them fight then letting each them other. Fight, of course. So uh, this is a team-based ba team game where only one player will win. Uh, players will play in teams that will be distributed by the team cards that will assign team two cards. players to each team mm -hmm. uh, in a different rounds. Yes. And these players will build together one giant robot against another team who will be building at the same time another one. Right. Okay. So uh, players will start building robots by one of the players will take five of these tiles. We have uh, tiles that are sometimes very similar to Galaxy Tracker because they are like weapons, mm -hmm. engines, uh, also some uh, shields and decorations. Gotta they, have the decorations. Yes, decorations doesn't do anything but they look cool. <laughs> and players will take five of these. Uh, keep three and mm -hmm. give two to opposing team. The opposing team will do the same, so we'll end up again with five tiles, but two of them will be from the opposing team. Mm -hmm. Then that player will place the five tiles anywhere on this uh, construction site, which at the start of the game uh, can have some spaces blocked according to which of these uh, blueprints is used. Uh, essentially, these uh, mark out the, t the spaces you can't use. Right. So, for example, yes. if uh, this one were in, then this tile could not yes, be played. Yes, exactly. So it have to be here. Right. Yes. And the uh, construction goes that you must keep uh, touching these metal parts or these rusty parts because if they're not touching, they will fall off. Uh, it's uh, basically the same as in uh, the Galaxy Tracker. Right. So right now this one's okay, but once when they yes, go into combat, it, yes. then it would become it's still a problem. Okay. Now the second uh, pair of the team members will do the same. They will exchange two tiles. Mm -hmm. They will have five, and again the other player of the team will place another five tiles right. anywhere. So my understanding is there's very little downtime, if I yes, read it correctly, because as one person is doing the tile selection on the team, exactly. the other player is doing the building. For yes, the, there, the, there's yeah. uh, almost no downtime in this right. game. And after the two rounds, the yep. robot is built. Each player will place 10 tiles, mm -hmm. so that's uh, for 20 total. And the uh, best way to de determine the quality of the robot is let the constructors to fight them and, and drive these robots. Of course, of course. So now the, the team members will each uh, take these controllers. This is for the pilot. Right, so here's our pilot controller. And this is the tactician controller. Uh, first, I will explain the pilot. The pilot will assign with this dial the rotation of the robot in which direction he wants to uh, rotate because he will only fire the weapons that are pointing forwards. Okay, all right. And the right side is for determining from which side you want to hit your opponent. So if you want to hit him from behind, it will cost you two engines. Or if you just want to hit him from the front, it costs nothing. No engines, yeah, so that's no engines. Here. Okay. At the same time, uh, these are the tactic cards. In each combat round, three of them are dealt on the table, and tacticians will choose with this controller if they want to take the left one, the central one, or the right one, All right. by also okay. placing it on the table mm -hmm. and then revealing it. Mm -hmm. uh, if they want the same card, the robot with most unused engines will get the card. Okay. So the players can. Like, uh, so it's better. It, ultimately, it's better that two you have a, a different card than your opponent. So then each person is going to be doing a different tactic. Probably. Yes. Yeah. And uh, after that, uh, players will roll the dice according to how many weapons they have pointing uh -huh. and the direction uh, they're shooting from. And, and if they don't turn, you yes, lose you one, lose one of die. the dice. Yes. yes. Because uh, many of the weapons are built to uh, be make damage when they are moving, like hexos or these drillers. Right. When you don't move, you can make any damage with them. And some of them also... That makes sense. <laughs> and uh, then you roll the dice, and you can either hit one of the spaces, or also you can uh, miss. 
Of course there's a miss. Yeah, yes. yeah. The tactician will then assign uh, these dice, the dice to the number they want to hit. And uh, these uh, things, if they don't have any connections, they will fall off. Well, this is uh, pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, the players are trying to win, but there is this uh, twist that makes this game very interesting, and that uh, the points are scored not uh, just by the winning. The winning of the, but the round. Yes, yeah. mostly the points are scored by these decks of uh, hidden agenda cards. Each player has his own one, and uh, it's up to you if you want to use them. I really recommend using them. It makes uh, the game much more interesting. At the, building, uh, at the start of the building phase, each player draws seven of okay. them. He will look at them, and these cards basically tell you what you are trying to do. Uh, like okay. the artist is trying to have as many decorations on his robot as possible, because for each decoration that is not destroyed, he will get two points. Of course. Or he can try to, uh, he's trying not to get destroyed the tiles that are right adjacent to the central cockpit. Oh, okay. So Protecting the cockpit. Yes. Or he can, uh, uh, there is also the destructive ones. Uh, the red ones are you're trying to destroy something from the opponent robot. In this case, you're trying to destroy advanced tiles. So if you look at the tiles over here, they have the A on them. Yes, some of them are much more powerful, but yeah. they have uh, usually uh, less space to connect. Right. And you count up points for this. Uh, also, there are uh, some special hidden agendas, like you can bet against yourself, you are the snitch, and you're actually trying to lose the combat <laughs> because you will get points for this. The thing is that your team member who is fighting with you doesn't notice until the very end of the combat when you reveal it. Of course. So uh, the goal of, of this game is not to win as a team, but just win for yourself because there's no G in the teamwork. Of course, of course. And, and you, you want to make sure that you're the boss, not, yes. not your partner. Because only one player at the end of the game who has the most points will win. And you play at least two rounds, right? Yes, exactly. So you are going to be friends and enemies with a certain yes, person. Yes, you don't want to really upset your enemies because in the next round, one of them will be your new team member. Yeah. <laughs> you will be fighting with uh, and uh, it's up to you if you want to play two rounds, uh, that's the short version, mm -hmm. or if you want to play the complete uh, three rounds, three where, rounds you will, total. where you will, will uh, change with every player. Right, so everyone will be your friend and everyone will be your enemy. Exactly. All right, looks fantastic. So again, this is Goblin Zinc from Czech Games Edition. Thank you very much, Yuri. You're welcome.